Hi, if you bought a computer or laptop with Windows 11 pre-installed, or installed Windows 11 yourself, or missed the 10-day rollback period after upgrading from Windows 10 to Windows 11, and now want to return to Windows 10, then this video will be a good guide for you to switch to Windows 10. Before starting the process, I will answer three important questions. What happens to your Microsoft license when you return to Windows 10? How to save your personal data and restore it after installation? How to avoid internet connection issues on some laptops after switching to Windows 10? Watch this video to the end to learn how it all works. During installation, you need to correctly select the correct edition of Windows 10. If you have Windows 11 Home, choose Windows 10 Home, and if you have Windows 11 Pro, choose Windows 10 Pro. And your license will be transferred to Windows 10. All your data will be saved automatically to the same disk in Windows 10. To do this, do not delete anything at the partition selection stage. Just click on the disk with Windows, and click, Next. Please read the installer message carefully and you will understand how this will happen. Some laptops may lose internet connection after switching to Windows 10 due to missing drivers. To avoid this, before starting the process, go to your laptop manufacturer's website, download the drivers for Windows 10 and save them to another disk or USB drive. Let's look at an example with a Lenovo laptop. The support site opens. Click Select Drivers, then choose the driver package for Windows 10. Download and save them on a separate disk or USB flash drive, you'll need them after switching to Windows 10. If you have a second storage disk in your computer, all data on it will remain unchanged if you follow the instructions in this video. Now connect a USB flash drive to your computer, I've already connected mine. The flash drive should have at least 8GB of memory, mine is suitable. Next, open your browser and search for, download Windows 10. Or open the video description, and click the link to the Windows 10 download page. The Microsoft website opens, here you can read the terms for installing Windows 10. Click the link to download the media creation tool. After downloading, close the browser. Open the Downloads folder in Explorer. Double-click the installer to launch it. Accept the license terms, click Accept. In this window, I choose to create a bootable USB flash drive. Next. If you uncheck the box here, you can select any language for Windows 10 in this window. I left it English. Next. Here you need to select the creation of a bootable USB flash drive. I click on my flash drive. Next. And Windows 10 starts loading onto the USB flash drive. The process of creating a bootable USB flash drive is complete. Let's see what we have on the flash drive. All the necessary files are in place, and now you need to reboot the computer and call the boot menu. Immediately after the start of the reboot, continuously press a certain key on the keyboard to bring up the boot menu. I press the F12 key. For you it could be EB, F8, F9, F11, F12, or some other key, there is no single standard and different computers may have different keys to call the boot menu. The boot menu opens, find the installation USB flash drive or DVD in the boot menu, press, enter. The installation menu will open. I don't change anything here, I click next. Install now. Here you need to enter the activation key. I don't need to enter the product key, as the new Windows 10 Pro will be activated automatically. I click, I don't have a product key. If you had Windows Home, select Windows 10 Home, if you had Windows Pro, select Windows 10 Pro. This way you will keep your Microsoft license. Here I choose Windows 10 Pro. Next. 
I accept the license terms. Next. I click Continue Installation. In this window we see all the partitions and disks connected to the computer. In my window, disk number 0 232 gigabytes is the disk with Windows 11 and 3 small system disks. A little lower we see disk number 1 for storing files. In order for Windows 10 to be installed correctly and for all personal files to be saved, nothing in this window can be deleted, you need to click on the disk with Windows 11 and press Next. A message from the installation program immediately appeared, and as we can see, it says that all the files of the old Windows will be saved and placed in the Windows old folder. I press OK, and the transition to Windows 10 has begun. For some time, we do not need to do anything and just wait for the process to complete. The computer will automatically reboot several times. Please, do not turn off your computer. OK. All the Windows 10 files have been loaded, and now we need to do some configuration. Here you must select your region, yes. Now choose your keyboard layout, yes. Skip. I choose, for home use. Next. If you already have a Microsoft account, sign in, or create a new account. To create a local account, you need to click, Offline Account. Here you need to click, Limited Experience. In this window, you need to create a username. Next. Here you need to enter a password, but I will do it later. Next. The new Windows welcomes us. There is very little left. Yes, I did and now I have a brand new Windows 10 on my computer. I hope everything went well for you too. I open settings, then the update and security section. Here I will open the activation tab. Yes, the new Windows 10 was automatically activated based on my digital license. Let's see how the data from Windows 11 was saved. For this you need to open this PC, and here we see that on disk D all the data was completely saved. Now you need to open disk C. In this window we see the Windows old folder, and I open it. Then the users folder, the Windows 11 user folder, and I open the desktop, on which, as you remember, there were many folders with files. Let's check how these files were saved. And I open the folder with my videos. And yes, all my files were saved and remained unchanged. Now we need to check how my applications were saved and whether they work. I open the this PC folder again. Then open the Windows old folder, and here I open the program files folder, which usually contains installed applications and games. Yes, I see folders with all my applications and open a folder with one of them. To conveniently launch an application from this folder, you need to place a shortcut to the application on the desktop. To do this, you need to right-click on the shortcut and select Send to Desktop. I double-click on the shortcut and this application starts and works without any problems. All applications from Windows 11 will work in the same way. I hope that what I just said will help you. If you found this useful, please share my video with someone. Like my video, write me a comment. I will answer all your questions and try to help. Thank you very much for watching my video. Have a nice day.